Hey, it's Anna Lee. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to have a quick start with Midjourney's new edit feature. So you'll go to the main page on the Midjourney website and you're going to go down to the edit tab and click edit new image. You can upload from a URL or you can upload from your computer. So I am uploading a sketch here that I out uh, exported from Chief Architect. Uh, this is just a screenshot of a 3D view and then I sketched over it by hand to show where I wanted the foliage to be. Uh, so you upload your image and then you also have to put in a prompt of what you want the uh, final image to show. So I am putting in the prompt here a photo of a fr French country cottage surrounded by trees with a lush flower garden. The cottage is made of stone with a slate tile roof. So you type out your prompt and then you click the submit edit button. Um, but first you're going to want to be in your retexture, um, not in the edit window. You want to be in the retexture window um, and then click submit retexture. And then you can see it uh, will develop. Uh, it develops into a beautifully rendered image of that sketch that I did. Uh, it gives you four different options, um, but you'll pick the one that you like the best or any of them, and then you uh, will send it to upscale to your gallery. Uh, if you don't send it to your gallery, it will stay in the edit, and then those disappear after a certain amount of time. They don't stay there forever. So you definitely want to send the ones you want to keep over to your gallery, and then it will upscale it into an even higher resolution image. Um, so that is one way to use the retexturer. And so the other way is we'll go back into retexture for a new image. I'm going to this time upload a photograph that my client sent me of their bathroom. This is a real estate photo of the new house that they're moving into. Um, and so my prompt is a photo of a vintage bathroom with Sherwin-Williams aristocratic peach painted walls, white ceiling, white tile floor, white subway wall tile, white cabinets, and white marble countertop. So what we're doing here is just changing the paint color. And so you can see it just changed the paint color. It made changes to the rest of the room as well. Um, but it kept the overall image as is, and it gave me several options. So again, choosing the options that I like, and I'm going to upscale them to my gallery so that they save for me. Um, and so we wanted to try a couple of different colors. So I can just go back to this, to the original image with the prompt is still there. And I just changed the paint color in the prompt, uh, to a light lavender. And so I'm having it process that. And you can see it gave uh, me several options with the lavender, various lavender colors. And uh, some are good, some are not so good. Um, but the idea here is to just show what a different paint color might look like in that room. It's not going to be exact. It's not going to be the exact Sherwin-Williams colors. Um, but it's going to give you an idea. And then when you send it over to your, uh, upscale it to your gallery, you can uh, see it, um, it gives you a higher resolution and then it shows all the ones that you've saved there and they're saved to your gallery now so that you can download or um, save those for later. Next, I wanna show you how to use the edit function as opposed to the retexture function. So over here in the edit window, I've got a rendering of a kitchen uploaded and I'm just gonna use the brush to brush out the parts that I wanna change. So here I wanna put in different light fixtures. You can adjust the size of the brush size to, uh, to work with whatever you're trying to brush out. Um, but then you don't have to be exactly accurate with it either. Um, you then put in your prompt. I want a photo of a kitchen with glass pendant lights and hit submit edit. And it's going to generate four options for you with different light fixtures. Um, of course, they're not going to be 
um, exact products and they may not be exactly what you're looking for, but it will give you an idea and it gives you four different options that you can play around with and take a look at. So I hope that was helpful. That is just a quick guide 